Freedom Talk. I'm so grateful to be here with Rebecca Rubin of The Pursuit of Fabulous. So, and Rebecca's a marketing coach, but I definitely don't want to get into your bio because I want to hear all about you from you. So welcome to Freedom Talk. Thank you. It's so great to be here. I love what you guys are up to. It's so, so inspiring and cool. Oh, Thanks it's for having me. Thank you so much, and, and what we love doing is connecting with fabulous women like yourself and just learning more about your journey and, and entrepreneurship and how you're doing the incredible things that you're doing. So talk to us a little bit about your background and how you ended up becoming a marketing coach and, and, and launching your business. Yeah, um, so I would say it really started after college. I um, always loved to write, and so I started a blog, and it was kind of like a fashion blog, lifestyle, just sort of musing, but it was really my first creative project, and at the time, I was working for a marketing agency in D.C. where I worked for about six years, um, and I love marketing. Like, it, it's always been something I've been really interested in and passionate about, and I also always loved personal growth and was, like, totally the kid. I would sneak into my mom's library when I was younger and read her, like, Louise L. Hay and the Pak Chopra books and was just geeking out about this stuff. And none of my middle school friends really knew what I was so talking like, about. They loved it. Um, and so I ended up meeting someone through my yoga studio uh, and we became fast friends. She was a life coach. So I got a certification doing that, started growing my practice. And then really, I would say last fall was a big turning point for me. I was running this coaching business. I was working full time and I was, you know, in many ways chasing my dream, but it wasn't so dreamy. Um, and got to this place of just really burnout and exhaustion. I was, you know, working a ton. I was very, um, I, I felt like I had to do everything and almost like take on all work all the time and really, yeah, I was burning myself out. And so I ended up hiring a coach and she really shifted a lot of things for me. I um, started focusing only on coaching and I got rid of some of the copywriting and marketing clients that I was taking on at the side. Wow. Um, I went from working five days a week at my cor formerly corporate job to three to two to now being a full-time entrepreneur. Wow. And my days now look a lot different than they did that last fall. So I really now, you know, I really started with with the marketing and marketing coaching. But really what I'm passionate about now is just helping women, particularly women entrepreneurs, to really create the lifestyles that they love and that light them up. Because it's so easy to be just like working all the time like a mad woman. Yeah. And I feel like when you have the necessary support and systems and structures and strategy in place, we can actually create these amazing, like, pinch me lifestyles. Yeah. So that's a little bit about my journey and, and what I what I do. Yeah. Wow. And it's it's beautiful. I mean, the transition that you've had over the last year. Now, talk to us a little bit about burnout. I feel like our community is either women who are, you know, still doing, still launching their businesses part-time, wow. so they're working full-time careers, or they're just transitioning into full-time entrepreneurship. And we know that it's not easy. And so a lot of women, like you mentioned, your, your journey tend to take way too much on themselves. So what advice, maybe like three tips would you give to not reach that point of burnout, but start taking care of ourselves before even reaching that, uh, that mark? Yeah. Well, the first thing that really comes to me is get it clear on your desires and what do you actually enjoy doing? Mm. Like, what is it that you really want to be doing? Not what you think you should be doing or what you think you have to do to pay the bills, but really what lights you up. So for me, that's coaching, connecting with women one-on-one -on -one and writing my own personal stuff. So I was had this sort of limiting belief like, coaching is a hard sell, but copywriting and PR are much easier. So I've got to take on a bunch of clients at a much lower rate that I think I should so that I can pay my bills so that I can do all of this stuff. Right. And really when I got clear of like how I wanted to be spending my days and what I wanted to be doing, I was like, okay, so in order to make more space for what I do want to do, I need to start cutting out some of this stuff that's that's not working or outsourcing it or figuring it out like how to get it off of my plate. Um, 
So number one, get clear on what you want to do. Number two is like, don't be afraid to outsource. I think a lot of entrepreneurs have this mentality of like, I'm the only one who can do this right. And like somebody else will mess it up if it's not for me or if I don't do it. And, you know, I hired a virtual assistant, which was huge for me. I was like, can I really do this? Am I, you know what I mean? It felt very, I think, especially as a woman, I've, it was almost like this feeling of who am I to have an assistant mm. and to have someone helping me? Like, why do I deserve this? But right. I did that. Um, and I started outsourcing the stuff that I don't really like. So formatting my newsletters, like co- putting together contracts, mm. getting clients, filling information, all this stuff that, and there was definitely part of me that's like, Oh, what if this person messes it up and then I look unprofessional and then it's all gonna, you know, it's gonna be terrible. Only I can really do this. And just, you know, sometimes mistakes do get made. Sometimes things don't go perfectly, but it's, you're giving yourself that gift of of space and time to focus on what only you can do. And that's huge. So I guess, okay, first is, is getting clear on what you really want to do. Second is kind of that like trusting leap of faith to, to let yourself do that. And third, I mean, maybe this is weird, but just, like, be nice to yourself. Yeah. Like, yourself. as entrepreneurs, we're constantly putting ourselves out there. Um, it's scary a lot of the time, you know? Like, it's it's scary to pitch a publication. It's scary to, you know, have a sales conversation if that's something that's new for you. Um, and you're not going to be perfect at it, and it's so okay. And just, like, whenever possible, be really, really kind to yourself. I love that. And, and I, okay, well, that's the, and I yeah. think that letting go of control is so freeing in itself. And you know what? Other people can do it great. Can just do yeah, it. Yeah, and better control. than you. Exactly. So we need to accept that. And I think it's, it's all across the board. It's just something that we have programmed in our minds and self-care and absolutely taking that time to relax, rejuvenate, recharge so that we can show up more fully on a daily basis. I love that. And yeah. uh, talk to us a little bit about your self-care rituals. So what's a yeah. must for you to make sure that you're showing up as your best self, especially when coaching clients on a daily basis? Because again, when we're go, 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 sometimes we forget to make this the the primary thing that we focus on so we can deliver. Yeah. And it's so interesting because it's that high vibration and that feeling of self-love and self-care that actually attracts all the circumstances that we want to us. So it's, it's really like the number one priority. Like it's more important than crossing everything off your to-do list. Like you've actually got to prioritize like feeling good. So yeah, I totally agree. Um, for me, my girlfriends are huge. Like I love my lady tribe and I really am very diligent about getting together for coffee, doing girls dates, you know, just making sure that I'm connected to other women who are really positive and inspiring and believe in me. Um, we do uh, some girlfriends and I who are coaches in DC do a monthly goddess circle where anyone can bring whoever we do crafts projects, we drink champagne. It's just like a really good time and it's really supportive. And the whole idea is that we're having like a higher level conversation and it's a space where women can come together. It's not a gossip fest. It's not, you know, competitive. It's not judgy. And it's just like, show up, be real and have fun. Um, so that's a huge part of my self-care routine. I have not one, but two coaches, which may sound incredibly self-indulgent, but I love it. And it's, you know, it's funny. It's like the more I invest in myself, the more clients I attract. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, so I think that, that's a huge part of it. I try to do yoga very regularly and get into, you know, get into my body and my breath. I wish I meditated more. I, I am still kind of struggling to get a regular meditation practice going. So some weeks are better than others. Right. But really, like sisterhood coaching some movement some sunshine some coffee I love kind of what it looks like I don't know it's so beautiful and and like you said it's it's interesting the coaches need the coaches as well and and when we're focused on our own growth I mean incredible things happen and and we can show up higher in higher vibrations for our clients that's it's so beautiful and talk to us about projects that you're launching things that you're working on besides your coaching things that that are getting you super giddy and excited yeah totally well 
My main program is called Brand Fabulous, and it's uh, basically a 90-day container for taking your coaching business or any sort of service-based business to the next level. So that's super exciting. Like, just got off the phone with a client this morning, and she's making amazing progress, and it's just, <laughs> like, when people are like, if she said something like, like, holy crap, it's actually happening. It's happening, yeah. And so, like, being able to, like, witness that one-on-one -on -one is amazing. Um, I'm also part of an awesome coaching community called Inner Glow Circle. Um, I think you know Katie DePaula. Yes. She's involved in that as well. Yes, and um, she's one of our freedom so ambassadors. Cool. What's that? She's also one of our freedom ambassadors. Wonderful, wonderful yeah. gal. Yeah. She's amazing. Um, and so I'm doing that. I'm a leader in that community. And that's really cool. It's like a kind of a coaching gym, if you will, mm -hmm. or we're calling it like that, or like a spiritual sorority. Um, and so that's been just really cool to meet all the women who are involved in that. Um, and then just like a couple writing projects that I have going on kind of in the background. Um, yeah. So many things that are lighting you up. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, so it's been like, like I, I think I said that before, but those like pinch me moments, yeah. like the fact that my life looks the way it does right now, if you had asked me a year ago, if I thought this was possible, I, I would not have believed you. Right. And that's a huge message for a community because you trust it. And sometimes, and I've been speaking to this about other goddesses and it's, it's, I mean, just stepping back and saying, you know what, I'm on the right path. Things are working out for my greatest good. And sometimes we can't plan these things that are happening around us. And it's so magical. And I love that message for our community is saying, you know, be patient, trust. And as long as you're taking the action, everything is always going to work out for its greatest good. And, and you're a proof, you're proof of that. It's, it's magical. Yeah. And be nice to yourself along the way. Yeah, exactly. And for yourself for not being perfect. I feel like that's a really big thing. Like, what you're doing is amazing, and it's you deserve to celebrate all of the small wins along the way. Oh, what a great message. And uh, you're rocking your freedom shirt. I see it. We what? both are. Uh, talk Love to it. Us. It's so comfy, too. Thank you. I definitely slept in it a couple times. I'm like, okay, cozy. <laughs> That's not the first time I've heard that. That's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's really soft. You guys should all get a shirt. It's, like, very comfortable. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Talk to us what freedom means to you. What's uh, freedom to you? What is what is it? Freedom is being able to really live every day like I want to. Like to be able to wake up in the morning and, and journal and sort of have a beautiful start to the day, to then go to yoga, to write, to coach, to really also, this, it's, it's like this deeper trust with the universe and my ability to kind of manifest what I want. It's like a freedom from almost like this constraint of how we've been told, like, you have to live life, you know, and that you have to work hard to the point of burnout in order to make money or that you have to, you know, sit in front of a computer all day in order to be successful. Like, it's just not true. Yeah. And for me, a lot of my freedom comes from, from knowing that and just seeing like all the possibility that exists in this world. Like it's, it's freedom, but it's also just like insane gratitude. Yeah. Like I feel so, so grateful. That's, That's, my That's freedom. beautiful. And where can we find more of you? So social media websites, where can we find you? Yeah, you can find me at www.thepursuitoffabulous.com. I write a blog. I'm going to be starting some, some video blogging in the near future, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, and I have a, a newsletter, and I have a guide, uh, How to Go from Hidden Gem to Hot Commodity Ooh. Without Losing Your Authenticity or Sanity in the Process. So that's yeah. like a freebie on my website if you guys are – anyone in your community is looking for some some marketing sparkle they they should feel free to download that so. i love it we know where to find it and i'm gonna definitely encourage all of us to go and get it well thank you so much it's been such an honor speaking with you and congratulations on all the shifts and changes and and you truly are a shining light so i'm so grateful to have you and to know you as a as a sister as well yeah thank you anna thank you for having me on and right back at you 
I'm so impressed by everything that you're doing. Oh, you're beautiful. Talk to you soon, girlfriend. <laughs> Bye. Bye.